what's up guys so um, I shot this video a few weeks back so I figured why not add some more value to it and show you guys exactly what I picked up from the grocery store today so I'm gonna include that in this video I'm gonna show you guys like what I shop for right now um, basically like I'm to the point in my diet where everything's kind of maxed out um, I don't really have much more weight to lose to be honest with you but this is pretty much what I'm shopping for when I'm, I'm going like full 125% like everything's on point right now um, I've been carb cycling my calories are pretty low so this is kind of like as healthy as it really gets so I'm gonna show you guys everything right now um, hopefully this helps out and yeah show you guys everything here um, we'll go through it one one at a time but like I said this is really kind of what I'm doing now and like the final stages of what I'm doing like I weighed like 175 this morning um, I don't really have much more weight to lose my calories are pretty low I've been carb cycling so um, at this point, like you saw the other meals that I was eating in this video, uh, I had higher calories back then, but honestly, I've been pretty much eating just about the same foods. Um, I've been keeping it pretty simple, keeping it pretty consistent just because for me, that's easier. I would rather just eat the same thing every day. That way, when I need to change something, it's, it becomes real easy to change. You don't have to do it like that. Um, I, you can always mix it up, you know, like as long as you're hitting the, the targets that you set out for yourself, the macronutrient targets that you set out for yourself, you should be good. But um, yeah, let me like take you through the carbs first. So these are my carb sources here. Um, so I got these flatbreads. I, I, I recommend to you as more than like rice and potatoes. Uh, I've never had this brand before. I usually get Joseph's flatbread. It's the same amount of calories and they're, they're massive and really filling. Uh, that's my go-to. Like I make a lot of either wraps, uh, I make flatbread pizzas, tacos, burritos, anything along that sort. Like I really prefer tortillas a lot more than just eating normal bread. But when I do want to do normal bread, I go for this, uh, right here. So each slice of bread's 45 calories, um, super low in calorie, two slices is only 90 calories. And for two slices, I don't know if you see that, but you can get, yeah, it's focused here. So you get 18 grams of carbs per two slices of bread. So what I do is I take a few of these. Um, I take some egg whites. I make French toast. Use sugar-free syrup. Um, super awesome. Like, it tastes really good. High-protein French toast. I mean, it honestly it tastes like a cheat meal. Um, and then if I'm lazy, I have these. So in breakfast, I do I go power flapjacks. These are really awesome and they're really convenient to cook. Um, you get three flapjacks, which is a lot of food. It's a 90 calories, 190 calories, and you get 14 grams of protein with that. So like, this has a decent amount of protein for what it is, which is great. Um, I eat it with sugar-free syrup, so I don't waste any calories on on any liquids. Everything I do liquid is uh, low calorie. There's no point to be drinking your calories, especially when your calories like are low in a diet. Um, and to make that even better, I do the sugar-free syrup and then I use this right here. So this is a butter spray that I use. So you can just spray a few on uh, to the pancakes. You can spray it onto your egg whites. Honestly, whatever you want that has butter, like you can use that to spray on and it tastes great. So that makes egg whites taste a lot better. Um, and then this is also what I do for breakfast. So I buy these as well. I eat these with my egg whites. So uh, these are actually vegetarian sausages. But I, I buy these because they're a little bit lower in calorie. And uh, they're pretty low carb. And they, they honestly taste ridiculous. Like they're pretty good. I'm not, too, I'm not a big fan of pork sausages, honestly, in general. I don't like it that much. Um, here we also have some cottage cheese. This is pretty much a staple in my diet. I pretty much eat this almost every day. Um, I, I either eat it with rice cakes or I'll eat this on its own. I'll eat it before bed. Cottage cheese is a great source of casein. So before bed, this is really good. Um, what casein is, is it's slow digesting protein. So before sleep, when you're not going to eat anything for, you know, eight hours, getting some casein in is really helpful for recovery. Um, and to even boost that recovery, I add a little bit of, uh, cacao. I didn't buy this today, but I'm, I'm pretty stocked on this. Um, I eat this pretty often. So I'll show you guys. This is, this is, this has been a game changer for me. Um, 10 calories per tablespoon taste incredible. Uh, also helps with recovery. Chocolate has been shown to help with recovery before bed. So you can use that to help you with your recovery in general. It's really good for you. Um, and it eliminates all the sugar. 
these are okay. I don't really recommend them that much, honestly. But like when my calories are super low and I need something sweet, uh, this kind of helps a little bit, like to curb my appetite. And then I use like uh, a little bit of whipped cream right here. It's like five calories per serving. It's like nothing. Makes those taste really good. So that's really helpful. Um, got some gum just to chew on and a, 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 a one bar. Haven't been eating these too often, but if I'm like craving something, this is kind of almost like a little bit too high calorie for me now where I'm at with my calories, but those taste really awesome. I just had one now. So like it's, it's definitely fun to throw in every now and then. Um, so now this is, this is also a big staple. So my cheeses, I pretty much do the fat free cheeses, like try and save as many calories on fat as I can, but these are really awesome. They're really high in protein. Nine grams of protein per quarter cup, which they're very voluminous. Like you get a lot of cheese with that. And then this is a sauce I like to use. I make a lot of tacos, fajitas, things like that. Really helpful. Tastes really good. And is super low in calorie. And then I mix it with with this. Um, let me see. Right here. So I mix, use a lot of this. I use a lot of this sauce right here. G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um... 10 calories per serving. That stuff is awesome, man. It tastes really good too. Okay, so now moving on to the vegetables and the beef and the chicken. Um, so I've got 93 lean beef here. I've got a ton of lettuce, like six bags of lettuce, and then cauliflower rice in the back. Uh, these pretty much are my ve vegetable staples. Got some avocados. Uh, mushrooms is new for me. I've been eating those lately. I've been liking them. Uh, kind of new to my diet. I never really liked mushrooms until this, this last couple months. So, um, and then last here is mild chicken, Italian sausages. Um, those are super good. They're super lean. And then we have a bunch of onions and we have a bunch of peppers. Okay. Moving on now. So let's go to the drinks. Cause this is honestly really helpful. So carbonated water. Um, I'm always sipping on something. Usually uh, a lot of diet soda, diet Mountain Dew, um, I drink a lot of water. I, where's my jug? My jug is somewhere around here, but I drink a gallon of day. I have a jug that I monitor it with, and I'll sometimes mix in this branch chain amino acids up here. So I'll drink these. Just, I mean, honestly, like it, they're kind of expensive, and like I don't really believe like branch chain amino acids work that well. But like, it's honestly something good to drink, and it kind of just uh, helps me curb my appetite and, and gives me that sanity, especially since I've been in a calorie deficit for so long. So it's good to kind of include those in there. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to drink a lot of water. So yeah, 